Soul life didn't make this body, but soul life is making me a heck of a lot stronger. Soul Life Minerals are highly absorbable, using natural, organic, safe, and effective ingredients, giving your body the essential nutrients it craves, including Magnesium 5X, giving you better sleep and muscle recovery, better heart and bone health and body movement, even better bathroom breaks. And you can get your Soul Life supplements at $20 off every bottle at soullife.com slash Kelly. We're proud to be the official U.S. launch partners for Soul Life, the minerals you need. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Smash for Friday, March 8th, 2024. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. We're at the Pendry in West Hollywood. Beautiful. For the Jeff Lewis Show Friday, if you're on Sirius XM, noon Eastern. More importantly, it's G to Fry Friday. <clears throat> Tell them about your G to Fries, baby. I love them. They're orthopedics. So if you can see, I do a lot of jump roping and they have these shock absorbers, which are amazing. If you have bad feet at all, these are the shoes for you. I love them. They hurt at first. They make work taller. Look. <laughs> they add two inches. That's what I love about I'm, them. He's 5'10", I'm 5'8". So when he wears them. They're actually really comfortable too. He's a little taller. They are. But you have to break them in. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I didn't realize that. Right, and they until, tell you like two hours the first day, right, and then three hours the next day. Right, to, to really warm them up and break them in and make them to comfort your, to do your feet. I really love working out with these. I love walking in them. They're orthopedics. What, what tennis shoes can you get? Or what do you guys call it, sneakers on the East Coast? Yeah. Or uh, trainers in England? Yeah. Honestly, I really I wear them all the time. They have patented VersoShock technology, so it's unparalleled structural support, unparalleled shock absorption, bounce back energy, and they say here like you're walking on air. It does feel that way. It does. They come with these expertly crafted orthotic inserts, so you can put them in or not. Well, they I put them in, but they were slipping a little bit, right? But they give you this extra yellow to make it tighter and yeah. that really helped me. I have funky feet, okay? I have my left side is like a seven and a half and my right foot's a nine. Like I, it's, so these shoes really, I can make them tighter on my left side. Yeah. And then I can wear my regular ones normal on that side. Jump higher, run faster. <laughs> <laughs> G2Fi.com, you get $30 off with the discount code uh, SMASH30. SMASH30 for $30 off at G2Fi.com. We uh, just drove up from Newport Beach. Not a bad drive. No. Oh, my God. Harry's here. Yeah, we yeah. Just, um, and he goes, We were. I took him up to the rooftop. Here, look at, watch. This is what the rooftop looks oh, like. Oh, yeah, check it out. Let me show you guys um, the Pendry. I love all the colors. I'll go slowly, people complain. restaurant. How pretty this restaurant is. What you get when you vote for Gavin Newsom? I did it after. I should have done it with Harry because I would have had somebody there with me. <laughs> but he goes, "Did you see that that building with all the uh, graffiti?" The graffiti. And he goes, "I saw a TikTok on it." 
And, he's, and I couldn't believe I saw it with my own eyes. And I go, well, that's what you get when you, bought, when you, you know. Oh, my God. We drove. We came off the highway. We went sort of a, a roundabout way to get here because Waze took us the shortest, quickest route. We passed a really scary situation. Well, we saw this vintage shop. Oh, look cool. It was so cool. I wanted to go in there, and there was this tweaker on the end going. <laughs> That's actually a very good representation. That's, that's how she was. She was like, totally tweaker. Oh, yeah. Like, scary. Like, zombie, right? It was. It's like zombie apocalyptic. What is it? Apocalypse? Apocalypse. Apocalypse now with the zombies in it's LA. It's just like that here. It's nutty. It's, it's scary. So, I just want to say, and I don't want to spend too much time on this, but we have so many great suggestions from you guys for the news hour that I might be having in prime time pretty soon and i don't want so to say he sent it to to the the, the person the boss. the boss and he goes can you just give me the top five <laughs> how many did you send him 30 good ones at least yeah because i wanted to give everyone a shot yeah you know i told you guys if they pick your idea i'm gonna we're gonna send you a box of swag but, the, but a lot of people have like a lot of big time you can only have like two syllables right yeah, someone said hold the line or Leventhal's line. That was uh, Bruno Nicole. gave you a lot too. Bruno gave me a bunch of them. Leventhal at large. I didn't want to go with that. Valerie one. gave you a lot. Yeah. Baby Dish gave you a lot. Do you want to read some of these? Like level up with Leventhal. Oh, I think yeah. That's our ice. Come in. <laughs> uh, I'll read it. So, where are they? I'm queued up right From now. Max and Maria. The Josephs gave us a, a ton of them. Uh, Leventhal Live Wire. Leventhal Talks. Leventhal Live. Rick Leventhal. Did you just do the ones from Max and Maria? Uh, the Josephs gave us some good ones. Yeah. <clears throat> the thing is, like we, we had a couple already. Like Leventhal, the Leventhal Report or Rick Leventhal Reports. Leventhal Live. Those are, the, I think, our favorites, right? Right. Uh, news flash with Rick Leventhal. Someone said in the news with Rick Leventhal, <laughs> which I, I submitted that one. Did you? And chasing news with Rick Leventhal because of my book, Chasing Catastrophe, that someone suggested. All right. So if he picks that one, you're you're a winner. But I don't know yet. Um, anyway, there were so many nice messages, and I just want to say I really appreciate you guys um, sharing your ideas with us. And also, I really appreciate, if and when this happens, you watching the show. Because it will be available to everyone on platforms that I will reveal when this happens. The Leventhal Perspective, the Leventhal Connection, Keeping It Real with Rick. Uh -huh. get, some of these are, are good for maybe for segments, but maybe not for the show. Leventhal Lowdown, that's pretty good. I like that. It reminds me of the Bravo Lowdown. The Rick Valerie's. Report. Yeah. The yeah. Rick Report, true news. Reality Check is not bad. I like Reality Check. Me too. I like Rick's Real America, but again, a lot of these I couldn't send. Rick's Retribution. Sounds like I'm going after people, which I will. <laughs> <laughs> just call it the Rick Leventhal Show. Kit Yo Yo said it encompasses more than just news. Here's the ones that was from Valerie, right? Uh huh. Uncensored. Bringing it down with Rick Leventhal, real time revelations with Rick. That's a little, I think that's a little too wordy, right? You need yeah. like just two words, right? Well, and someone just said like the best, most successful shows are like Gutfeld, Hannity, uh, O'Reilly. Right. So just call it Leventhal. But I don't know. I like it. I like it. Like, Live with Leventhal Live? I like Levy. Someone said Levity, <laughs> which means like, you know, inspire, like, you know, I like that one too. When I, was, when I was in Iraq and I would do early morning live shots, which was 11 p.m. Eastern time, Shep would call it Levy at 11. He would always have me on at the top of the hour. Leventhal's Lowdown. That was a good one. That was from Kristen. Rick Leventhal knows Wait, it all. From Chris, what is it? Kristen <laughs> Correra, I think. Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie said, the comments are oftentimes removed because someone may have reported you to YouTube and they removed the comment. It has nothing to do with Rick and Kelly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> unfiltered Levy Truth. I mean, it's... Yeah. Anyway, uh, Leventhal Now is good. 
Here, here's a, from Gene Bunny. The hottest shows in cable news have always been just the name of the host, the last name of the host. It's an old formula that still works, O'Reilly, Hannity, and Gutfeld. You said that already. Yeah, I was just reading because I <laughs> yeah. had a name. So I, I, as I Kelly said, I sent him to the boss. He said, can you send me your top five? So I sent him Leventhal Live or Live with Leventhal, Rick Leventhal Reports or The Rick Report, Rick's Rundown or The Rundown with Rick Leventhal. Chasing News and Rick Leventhal. Tonight. You guys were so nice to give all those things. Like, you guys are such great resources. It is seriously unbelievable. We, we've learned a lot from you guys, gained knowledge, discovered things, right? It's so nice. Love it. Um, this from Heather Stallcup. Hello, cuties. Your store below says the pickleball paddles are sold out. I fixed that glitch this morning. If you try to go on rickkellyshow.com and order paddles or balls i fixed it it said that we were sold out but we're not but i must have i must have packed two crates two cartons of balls Someone, how many how many uh paddles do we have left about 50 or 60 i think so plenty of paddles left two for one on the paddles and, uh, you can paddle your husband three for, <laughs> or your girlfriend or your wife or someone whomever said a, someone said a screen grab of our of the YouTube free uh, frame that they put up for the show, and it was you hitting me in the head with the paddle. Isn't that funny? <laughs> it didn't hurt. Wait, I okay. Can I say something like off color and like kind of bizarre, like that I saw on TikTok that really okay? Because so I have a guy friend, and he was married to my girlfriend. She lives in um, he lives in San Francisco, and she lives in Vegas, and. She told me that her hus her ex husband used to be caught with transvestites, and so I just saw a, a TikTok of a lady boy, gorgeous in Bangkok, uh -huh. right? And she they asked a question is if a man gets with a tranny and they have their junk, uh -huh. is it gay? And she said no. Well, I said yes because the person has a penis. But it's also like, I guess, kind of a gray area if they're a woman from the waist up. Well, I think if you're all of a woman you're like, and you have a thing cut up and you have a woman, then you're a woman, right? But if yeah. you have your junk, yeah. and but you look like a beautiful woman, right? Wow. like what, like, like I, don't, I don't get, I don't, I'm like confused on that one. I said, Are you gay or not? I said if there's a penis involved, then it's gay. It is. That's what I think. But I, I'm no expert. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I honestly am <laughs> is confused. Is that our poll of the day? Yeah, our that's our poll. I really want to know. Because my girlfriend knew about this with her, her ex-husband. And she was like disturbed about it. I would be too. And, I'd be disturbed. But those girls from Hong Kong, the the, the, boy, the lady boys. Uh-huh. In Bangkok. In Bangkok. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh <laughs> They're they're hot. <laughs> I mean, they're smoking. Well, if, let me just put it this way. If, That's like the crying game if stuff. If I were single and I met some woman yeah. who I thought was hot and I got to the bedroom and then discovered that it was actually a man, I would be really, really pissed. You'd be like Ace Ventura Pet Detective when he was like, uh, the crying game, remember? <laughs> <laughs> he was with the plunger. <laughs> I do remember. He's like washing his mouth out. <laughs> um, I have a question for you from Matilda. Okay. Kelly, I want your opinion on something that's been rubbing me the wrong way. You always give your honest opinion. So I've seen a TikTok YouTube creator having her eight-year-old daughter do skincare routines and doing her makeup, etc. Is it just me or is this crazy? Crazy. You crazy. Don't, you don't agree with it. You don't. Think Absolutely it. not. Eight years old? What? What do you need a skincare routine at eight? You're you're got fresh skin. You're a baby. You don't have any pores. You're getting dirt. Doing putting makeup in there. Mm -hmm. Like like that is crazy. What else to say? And just like like kids, you know, getting their hair color. But you're throat. not. There's no. There's you have human growth hormone for those babies at eight. You're a baby. Like that's ridiculous. I find that crazy. I find that let kids be kids. Uh, there was no reason for them to be putting makeup or even having a skincare routine, okay? It does nothing. They already have baby skin. 
Matilda said, went on to say, I feel like just let her be a child. Yes. I didn't read that, but thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, then you're in agreement. Yeah. Aussie fans wrote, Kelly, I love your spare room in your new home. Like the bed and sheets, et cetera, very much. You would be a great interior designer. Oh, thank you. Well, she is. I mean, you've seen our pickleball party townhouse, right? Yeah. I mean, you did that interior. A name for Rick's new show could be Fresh Perspective with Rick Leventhal. I feel like it's too many words. Yeah. Thank it you. has to be like short. It has to be like Rick Report or Leventhal, Levy Up with Leventhal. Or it has to be sh like. Yeah. Snappy, quick. Snappy, quick. Uh, on the uh, exclusive I had with uh, Louis, mm -hmm. I had to apologize to him because we were stumbling over his name so bad. Roulette. Ru 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 somebody did somebody. Who was it that did it perfectly for oh, us? They did? I think it was Groovy or Violet's that. Light. She put Rue. A. A. Yes. Los. She did it perfectly. I Ruayas. said it when she wrote it out. I think it's Rueas. Rueas. Ruleas. Say it again. I'm kidding. <laughs> Reality TV lover said, you should do an interview with Louis. I'm still leery about the man. I would love to trust that he's a decent dude, but something still feels off to me. I do find it sad that Teresa does seem to have like a sadness about her. I watch, Have you ever seen her podcast? Mm -mm. Never heard of it. I can't stand that chick she's with. I don't oh, like her. I didn't her. know she had a... Oh, like, yeah. I mean, you know who she is or what she... Like, why is she... Like she, that, that girl Did she that. she come after you one time? She came after me. Like that girl's a nobody. Like, I don't know. I watch her podcast on YouTube and it seems like the stress of everyone coming at her is getting to her. But I'm taking into account that you and Rick have met Louie. So I don't we, think so. She's been doing this, you guys, for 17 years. Like, why? She, she can handle it. Like, I don't think it's getting to her. I think she, she, she's like Teflon, you know. Teresa Teflon, like, she just rolls off of her. I don't think she cares one iota what people say, what people think. She's been, have, I mean, she if she can come out of prison, yeah, she can, she can get through any of this. Reality TV lover went on to say, Kelly, you have the same dark, silly sense of humor that I do. Aw. I think more people need to realize you're coming from a good place. Thank you. Very nice. So we watched, and I, apologies, we've been moving. So we are absolutely slammed at home. But we did watch part one of the Beverly Hills reunion last night. And our hope is to watch part two sometime in the next couple of days and then recap both of them for for you guys. So let's talk about, let's do their, their, let's do their outfits real quick. I couldn't stand... Um, Kyle, she dresses like a million bucks. I think that thing looked awful on her, that green outfit. It was them? way too tight, and then she had a low back that you couldn't even see because she was sitting. She looked very uncomfortable in it. I didn't like it. You didn't like her hair either. I didn't like her hair. It looked like a, someone took a big poop, like a big dinosaur took a poop on her head. It was like <laughs> it was like straight, and then it had this little clump of like, look like poop. Um, <laughs> I thought Sutton looked, I liked her outfit. I thought she looked good. Mm. Uh um, I thought Garcelle looked good. I thought Chris, uh, Crystal, I liked her dress. Uh, who else is on there? We didn't get to get a good look at Anna Marie. I didn't, at least. I didn't really get look at Anna Marie. But Dorit's getting a lot of uh, a lot of hate for her outfit. I thought her outfit looked awful. Um, what did you like Dorit's hair? The one hair? No, there was a meme that looked like Lenny and Squiggy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like with Lenny. You remember Lenny and Squeegee from Laverne and Shirley? Yeah. He had that little thing and it looked just like that. First of all, that looks awful. And I mean, how does she not want to go like this? Like, why would you want something stick straighting? Like, it's like something about Mary. I like this housewife haikus wrote, hey, Red Riding Hood, wipe that hair off your forehead and STFU. And then they wrote, Dorita's is not looking good this reunion. And it's not just due to her styling. But speaking of styling, I think this might be the worst reunion look in the history of Housewives. I agree. Yeah? I have to agree. I have to agree. I wow. thought she looked ridiculous. I thought it looked awful on her. I, did you see the women's faces when she came walking up to, to come on stage? Yeah. They're like, whoa. Like, oh, okay. It's like, fashion. And she was late because they were sewing her up. It, was, it looked ridiculous. Okay. I, and the hair was the worst. A very brief 
In the news segment. In the news. <laughs> because we have to go to Doug Doug's. Newton's house right. for cooking kibitz, which will be on this week's Rick and Kelly show on Patreon.com. Which we encourage you guys to, to join because you'll get 133 episodes and new content every week. Including cooking with kibitz. Cooking kibitz. So in the news now, Brees... Oh, sorry. Uh, Andy Cohen torches Leah McSweeney's coke claim, according to TMZ. Take it back or else. <laughs> Andy Cohen's lawyers don't mince words all about the truth rights in their legal letter, saying virtually everything she said about Cohen in the lawsuit is baseless and false. But on the cocaine claim specifically, they write, we demand that you immediately retract and withdraw all allegations relating to Mr. Cohen's purported cocaine use. If she doesn't, they say they're taking her to court. Look at that. Isn't that funny? He's getting a little dose of his own medicine. I'm sorry, but when I was on the Housewives, they let they said that uh, the sex train, they knew damn good well. I've never even had a threesome. They let that go in there. People are still saying uh, stupid things about that sex mm -hmm. train. They did memes about it. That should have never, ever been put in the housewives of Orange County. Right. Me saying that they I... They slandered you. They slandered me, saying that I did cocaine and, and, and because Vicky said that I did it, you know, that. And she's never seen me do it. I've never done it around anybody ever. I mean, I've done it before. I'm not going to lie. But I have, since I've had Jolie, don't do it. Uh, you know, it is ridiculous that he is now seeing what it's like to be like to be slandered, to be like misjudged. Now he's seen now, but it's okay for him to get his lawyers on it. But I couldn't do that on the housewives. I I said this before. It was the most one-sided contractual agreement I'd ever seen in my life. When they wanted me to sign to shoot episodes with you in your final season, it gave them the right. I didn't agree to this, but it gave them the right. To say whatever they wanted about me, even if they knew it wasn't true. Right, that's what they're that's saying. In their agreement that they give to all the talent, we can say whatever we want about you. We can edit this any way we want, and you have zero recourse. You cannot sue us for for us Slander. knowingly. Yeah, and lying. That's yeah. what it said in the in. It said that in, in my contract, in his contract. And and I added not to every sentence. The producer shall not be allowed to. Because they were like, they were saying the producer shall be allowed to knowingly broadcast false accusations, false allegations. Even if the producer knew that you didn't do those things, right? they still had the right to say it. And I've never in my life seen anything so ridiculous. Exactly. But you know what? You know, it, the karma's coming to bite Andy Cohen in the butt. And you know what? It, it isn't a good look for him. He's got kids. He doesn't want people to know or see or hear or or, or make up things mm. that he's a coke user, like like it's 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 a bad look on, on his children and and it, it's just now I think this guy can see what it feels like to be a housewife. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point. I just want to add that they're saying they'll take her to court if she doesn't take it back. Well, she's already filed a lawsuit. Telling them they, she wants to go to court. So I would guess slash assume they have some kind of evidence or information about the alleged drug use or they wouldn't have put it in a lawsuit. If they put it in there without any actual well, evidence, well, that was highly I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. That Leah McSweeney is a liar. She's a whack job. She's bipolar. Yeah. I wouldn't believe... Two things that came out of that woman's mouth. I'm sorry to say, what attorney would bring on Bravo? Uh, you know, like take them on, take them on, and 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 Andy Cohen. Well, like I said, if they if they didn't have the evidence to back up her claims, and they filed the lawsuit anyway, then shame on them, and they should be punished. She she should be punished if there are false allegations. Yeah, and they put it in a lawsuit. That's ridiculous. Right. All right. Well, then. There you have it. They were ending on a slightly serious note, very serious note here on a Friday. Um, we're excited to be here, and we're going to bring you more on our visit to L.A. next week and on The Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon.com. And I just want to say thank you guys for, for another great week here on YouTube. 
We really appreciate your support. You can see the reflection of the lights. Oh. But it's, it's a pretty background. It is. Thank you for opening the shades. Yes. It's a team. It's teamwork that makes a dream it's work. Te <laughs> exactly. Take care, guys. Have a smash-tastic day. Have a great weekend. Bye.